Wayne Peterson Racing has acquired many old racing chassis from back in the day, with a lot of them coming with interesting stories. Through nearly a 10-part series, we'll be going over every major chassis that Wayne Peterson Racing has ran. Today in particular, we'll be talking about a former Richard Childress Racing chassis, B053, standing for Bush Series. It was originally built in 2006, but didn't actually run its first race until 2008, while running its last race for RCR in 2010. It was then resurrected by Wayne Peterson Motorsports in 2017. Now join me as we look into the history of RCR Chassis B053, 2006 to 2017. It was first used in 2006 Daytona testing, was then used as a backup car for the number 21 team for the plate races, which were driven by Jeff Burton and Kevin Harvick. It was used again in 2007 for Daytona testing, but only used as a backup car for Kevin Harvick at the plate races. It wouldn't actually run its first race until 2008, where it was tested at Daytona by Clint Boyer in preparation for its first race. The 2008 Daytona race, number one out of the two, saw Clint Boyer start second and finish 25th after an on-track incident on lap 93 caused 0-5-3 and Boyer to pit under green and simply couldn't recover. Coming into Talladega, 0-5-3 was repaired, and on lap 10, though, was unfortunately involved in another crash with Clint Boyer. This wreck saw another driver, Dario Frank Keaty, actually break his leg in the crash. 0-5-3 was heavily damaged, on the right side, but still managed to finish the race in 25th, 24 laps down. It was very crucial for 053 to finish the race as Boyer was 41st after the crash and gained 48 points after coming back out. Climbing up to 25th in the finishing order, Boyer would win the championship by 21 points. He credits this race to really helping make sure that he won that title. Now, Let's look at think, Boyer's crash. Note, Boyer is in a yellow and blue race car. Trouble on the racetrack, the 40 of Dario Franchitti has had contact debris off of one car. Are you all clear? Are you okay? Looked like, looked like we saw a tire explode right in the middle of this pack and uh, maybe caused this big wreck. And I don't know if that comes from just incidental contact, but you yeah, definitely saw some, some tire debris flying. Yeah, first caution of the day, lap number 10, Franchitti involved, the 91 of Johnny, uh, I'm sorry, Larry Gunzelman involved. There's the uh, carcass of what's left, all heavy damage in the left side of that Dodge. And there's the points leader, Clint Boyer. The two car. Away first. And you know, we see this, this close racing, and, and at times it gets even closer than, than what we see. There's actually rubbing that takes place. And these cars have very little fender clearance anyway, Andy. You build them to go fast, and, and so you don't give much clearance. So you could, you said you thought you saw a tire explode there, and that could very well be from a tire rub. We're watching this from high above, trying to figure out exactly what happened. And you can see Dario Franchitti looks like he loses a tire getting into the corner. 053 was originally scheduled to run the Daytona July race, but due to heavy damage, another car was prepped, and 053 was then instead repaired and ran a Daytona testing in 2009. 053 would return with a vengeance for 2009, putting up blistering speeds in Daytona testing, and coming into the first Daytona race would start and finish third, leading a strong 33 laps. 053 surprisingly skipped Talladega as 054 was running instead. It was a good thing, though, as Clint Boyer would crash with future boss Michael Waltrip. 053 would return to Daytona for the July race, and boy was it dominant, starting and finishing first, leading 48 laps, including the last 30. It was a very successful win as 053, as we'll now see here. Coming to the white flag, and it's just like Yellow we've seen. Line. Oh, look at that 10 car slide Man. up there. Well, Casey Kane up across the racetrack. And oh, he trouble. is all over the place. They got another crash. The oh, Mike Bliss hard into the wall. The white and the caution flag. And heavy damage. There's Bliss. There's a 23 car of Robert Richardson. Well, that'll do it right there. They took the white flag. Looks like that might be the win for Clint Boyer. 
And on the caution, it's where they are on the racetrack. Right. <laughs> Finally won at Daytona. Well, <laughs> Childress needed that Good right now. There, Pookie. He got his first career Daytona pole today, and he got his first career Daytona win tonight. Clint Boyer gets it done here in the NASCAR yeah, Nation. I'm waiting to see you check a flag, then I'll holler. <laughs> yeah, he's just like me. They're not yeah. over till you see that checkered flag, but uh, I think it looks good for you, Richard. Great job, everybody. Tribute there. What you don't want to do is think the race will ever come down pit road right now. That's We've exactly seen that right. We've seen it happen. That's why you don't see Richard celebrating yet. Uh -huh. He's been around a long time, and now finally for the first time in his career, Clint Boyer will come down and <laughs> take the checkered flag as a winner at Daytona. The 18 almost pulled down there. There it is. Now they can celebrate. Hell of a job, Clint. You've done it, buddy. Hell of a job. Good job there, Doug. Everybody. Richard Childress, 53 wins and now 54 as a NASCAR Nationwide Series owner. Coming off a successful 2010, 053 was brought into testing for 2010 with a brand new driver in John West Townley. John West Townley would start Daytona 1 from the 5th position, but finish a disappointing 23rd after being involved in a crash coming into the first round of green flag pit stops. After being released a couple races later following a practice crash, returning driver Clem Boyer was returning to 053 at Talladega for what would be the final Gen 4 race with the NASCAR Xfinity Series. 2010 Talladega saw Clint Boyer start 14th and finishing 6th. 053 was very strong in the race, working with his cup teammate Kevin Harvick a lot during the end of the race. 053 would famously turn McMurray, which would send the field into a giant big one, which saw another vehicle hit the catch fence. After Talladega, however, 053 was put aside, as then the Nationwide Series at the time was moving to a brand new COT body that was debuting at the J July Daytona race. With teams buying new chassis and new bodies, 053 was just put into storage, still with the red and yellow Zaxby steam still on it, supposedly rotting away forever. Until... In 2014, 053 was resurrected. Chassis and body was given to ARCA owner Wayne Peterson, as Wayne, who was really good friends with Richard at the time, even including sharing ARCA points back in the day, had given the chassis to Wayne as a gift. Coming straight from the RCR shop, 053, still with the Zaxby's paint scheme, sat in Wayne's front yard for the better part of a year before being used at Daytona testing in 2015. By the time it had gotten to Daytona in 2015, it had still had a resemblance of the red and yellow paint scheme, although all the Zaxby logos and RCR and Clint Boyer logos had been removed. Daytona testing saw Peterson driver James Swanson still using a variant of the scheme. Swanson would go into Daytona start 34th, but finished a disappointing 40th after losing an engine early in the race. Despite being a plate car, 053 would show up to the next race at Mobile, but with driver Wayne Peterson. But unfortunately, due to the blown motor, the car couldn't actually fire up. So the plan was, Wayne was simply going to get pushed around on the pace laps and try to get credited with starting the race. Unfortunately, ARC officials would not let him do that. Double Zero was withdrawn, and Wayne simply drove another car. 053 would return for Talladega with James Swanson again, using a different number now being renumbered to 06. James would start 25th and finish 25th as well. This was the last time that we would sadly see James Swanson as he was moving to a new team. And 053 would be getting a new look for 2016. After 2015, the red was stripped away from the car and it was bare yellow, also getting a new coat of paint. 
It was then renamed the Chicken Car, also with its wheelbase being extended to 110 inches. Tim Vines, who had driven for Peterson in the past, drove the 06 at Daytona, starting 36th and finishing 26th. At Talladega in 2016, rookie Joey Katina started 31st and finished 33rd in 053 after having radio issues. Despite being a car strictly for plate tracks, 053 was brought back out after FedEx, another one of Wayne's cars, blew up at Pocono. With 053 only being the car that was ready to go, it was brought out to a bunch of short tracks. It would be renumbered from 06 to 00 and would be used as a start and park entry with Wayne Peterson at the wheel. Competing at Michigan, running two laps and finishing 32nd, Competing at Madison, running four laps and finishing 23rd. Competing at Winchester, running two laps and finishing 22nd. And competing at Iowa, running one lap and finishing 28th. 053 would not return until Daytona 2017. Daytona 2017 saw another new driver to 053 in the Peterson team, Scott Edwards. Edwards would start 37th and finish 24th. But the story behind the race for 053 was sadly a sad one. With just 20 laps to go and with no Ilmore motor running top 20, the 06 accidentally got debris stuck in the car. Unfortunately, Arca made them pit under green, which lost them five laps. 053 would have to settle for 24th place instead of what would have been a top 15 finish. Longtime Peterson driver Don Thompson drove the car at Talladega later that year, starting 17th and finishing 20th. Just like back in 2016, 053 was brought back out due to one of Wayne's other entries being totaled in a previous crash. 053 was returning of all places at a road course, Road America, a 4.48 mile road course in Wisconsin. 06 was being driven by Mark Munair, starting 25th, and surprisingly did not start and park the race, finishing the race in 23rd. The 06 would run in fourth gear, though, the entire time and finish the race six laps down that day. At a road course, Wayne would bring two super speedway cars. 053 was randomly brought back out again for the Kentucky race later in the year, simply used as an extra start and park car to get some extra purse money. It was renumbered the number 90 simply because it was the 06 decal flipped upside down. James Swanson would return to the team, running just one lap in the car and finishing 28th. To date, this was the last race for RCR B053, and to this day, is still sitting under a tarp at Wayne's home, still with the number 90 on it. But from reports from crew members, they are hoping someday to resurrect 053 and give it a comeback. Now let's look into 053's race statistics year by year. 2008, its debut year, saw an average start of 4th and an average finish of 25th. 2009 saw an average start and an average finish of 2nd with a win. 2010 saw an average start of 9.5 and an average finish of 14.5. 2015 saw an average start of 31st and an average finish of 32.5. 2016 saw an average start of 27.8 and an average finish of 27.3. 2017 saw an average start of 26.7 and an average finish of 23.5. The drivers who ran 053 were Clint Boyer, Don Thompson, Wayne Peterson, John West Townley, Mark Munair, Scott Edwards, James Swanson, Tim Vines, and Joey Katina. RCR B053 ran a total of just 18 races across 11 years and will hopefully run again someday. Till then, thanks you guys for coming along on this journey with me. Like and subscribe for more, and we'll see you guys real soon.